Hey, this is a multi-part series and I have linked part number one in the video description down below. Oh, and if you want to follow along, you go to procurementzen.com slash digital where you can download the resources, chat with fellow students. And by the way, it's completely free. So let's start with video. Okay, so in this final lesson of chapter two of module two, we're going to see how you can get the results from a single note. One thing I've mentioned before is that every single node in NIME performs a single task and a single task only. What sounds like a big disadvantage, micro steps for every single task in NIME is actually one of NIME's biggest advantages. You can see the result of a node right after executing it. This is a perfect execution of the so-called fail fast methodology where you try out things and if, you do, if they don't work, you just change or adjust them. If the result is not what you expected, you'd rather change the configuration or you delete the node and try another one. This makes learning extremely fast. So let me quickly show you how you can see the results of every single node. So here we are back in our workflow from module number one. You already know one way the node monitor from previous lessons. If you remember, we have structured the NIME application in a way that you can find it here below the canvas. But sometimes you want to have more space, more insights, a pop-up window, so to say. This is where the results table comes into play. For the Excel reader node, that would be this entry here, file table. One important thing to remember this entry is usually always the last entry in the context menu, but its name changes depending on the node you have to let selected. For example, in the Excel reader node, it is called file table, whereas in the joiner node, it is called joint table. As I said, it depends on which node you have selected. Just select it and voila, here, you have your table. From this view, you can already see that we have a hundred rows and six columns. We could also see the data type of each column as well as its name. The first one is called category and is of the data type string, which is indicated by this little S icon here. The second one is called PO number and is of the data type integer, which is a number format, and so on and so forth. Don't worry if you don't understand data types yet, we will cover this later in this course in much more detail. But this window has more to offer. Have a look at the second tab, the data table spec or specification. You can see the column names and the data types again. You see the column index of each single column as well, which is basically the numbering of the columns. Attention, NIME starts to count at zero. So this means for our six column table, the numbers are zero to five. You also see the entries for the string columns here, here and here. And you see the lower bound and the upper bound of the number columns. This is very interesting because when we come to row filter nodes in the next chapter, this information of lower and upper bound is very helpful for us. You also see a lot of red question marks. This is basically NIME telling us that it's missing values here. But attention, be aware that this is not a mistake or an error, it's absolutely okay that our first text column, the string column named category, has only two values, direct and indirect. There are more tabs in this, which we might cover later, but for this lesson, this is already good enough. We see that the table basically is what we expected it to, do, uh, to be, and basically the node did what we wanted it to do. So this concludes our chapter, what are NIME nodes? Congratulations. In the next chapter,
we are going to build a real world automation together from scratch and learn the most important notes along the way. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. See you in the next lesson. If you want to go to the first part of this online course, click this video. And here is just another video that shows you some very funny stuff you can do with NIME. Oh, and if you want to download the resources and chat with fellow students, just go here to this page over at procurementzen.com.